Well, there's actually quite a few questions about my jewelry and then also uh, purse situation. I just got this new purse yesterday, which I'm kind of excited about. So I will show you that and all my jewelry coming up next. Well, good morning. It is Saturday. I actually just started the washing machine, so I think it's almost done, so I hope it doesn't make any noise in the background. Um, Tom and Corbin went to work on a car at my parents' house. Maggie is making French toast, and the other kids are playing. And so I thought I would uh, answer this question really quick, uh, what I do for jewelry, and also my current purse situation, because I definitely try to keep those minimal as well. And probably this isn't gonna surprise you when you see my jewelry collection, because you've seen a lot of it on the videos. You probably recognize these earrings, that I wear in almost every single video. And these are from Kohl's, I believe about a year and a half ago. My sister got them for me for our birthday or Christmas. And so I'm guessing, I don't know that they would still have them, but that's where they're from. So I have completely simplified my jewelry collection. You know, I like jewelry, I like to look nice, I like to look put together, um, especially when we're doing professional things. But I've noticed I was always wearing the same things anyway. And you know, my situation is such that I don't go to an office every single day, so I don't see the same people. So I really doubt that anyone notices that I'm wearing pretty much the same earrings and the same jewelry every single day. So I felt very confident just to highly simplify it. And then the other thing I've noticed is that I've kind of come back to borrowing things. So if we do have like a fancy event or a dress up event, it didn't really matter if I had invested in really nice jewelry because a lot of times whatever you have doesn't necessarily go with the outfit or the dress or whatever it is that you got anyways. I don't know, have you noticed that? And so I've kind of gone back to just borrowing things. Like my sister actually has a pretty extensive jewelry collection. So I know I can always borrow something from her or worst case, I will purchase something again, but Again, it's not because I've gotten rid of something I might have worn, it's usually because I wouldn't have had anything to wear with it anyways, and then I can purchase something confidently. But 98% of the time, this limited collection that I have actually works really well. And so I know for some of you that might feel like really limiting or odd to pare it down so much, but for me, it actually has just brought a lot of freedom it is so easy for me to get dressed in the morning and to know what jewelry I'm gonna wear. I mean, like I said, most often I'm just gonna put these earrings in. They go with everything, dress them up, dress them down. And then these necklaces as well can pretty much go with anything, fancy or not fancy, you know? And so it has worked out really well. It took me a little while. I mean, it's probably taken me a couple years to get it where I could have it be really simplified and feel like I have really versatile pieces. So it's not like it happened overnight, but now that I've gotten here, it's so awesome and I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't change it. The only thing I wanna to add to my collection, I used to have um, a gold bracelet that I really liked a lot and it broke, like it had elastic all around it and elastic broke and I couldn't re-thread it. So I would like to get a gold bracelet again, but I also tend to wear my watch too. So, um, so I'm not sure, so I haven't found quite the right bracelet yet, but that would be the only thing that I would add to my collection. But otherwise, I really feel like this, I can go on a date with Tom, I can go to work, or you know, just doing stuff, running the kids and that, that this stuff works really well. And then the other thing I was looking for was a new purse. I wanted like the crossbody style. Now, purses, I've had big purses in the past, and what happens is they just fill up with junk. So I've gone to smaller purses. Actually, I'll show you my old wallet. So this was my old wallet. Um, Diana actually got it for me, and I liked it because it had a pocket for my cell phone, and then everything else, you know, obviously just fits right inside. Um, but we're gonna be traveling coming up, and so I did want something more of like a crossbody because there's been a few times where I've forgotten this places, like I'll set it down and then forget about it. Don't tell Tom, he gives me a hard time about that. <laughs> but so I did want the crossbody style. I needed it big enough to fit my um, cell phone so that would I can zipper open this pocket. And then on the inside, it just has the place for the credit cards, and then you know, you could put cash and stuff in here. So I really like it a lot. I actually, the kids are on spring break this weekend, so we went up to visit my grandma yesterday, which was really fun. She lives, unfortunately, she lives about an hour and 45 minutes away, so we don't get to see her as often as we would like to, but 
Um, the kids and I went up there yesterday and we had a really nice time. We played cards and, and had lunch and um, so that was good. But she told me about a store that was closing next to her. And so we stopped over there on the, on the way home because I was looking for a purse. And what's so funny is so I found this there. It was $21 like on their marked down prices and then I was like, well, I should try and see if I can find it on Amazon because I hate showing you things that I find without having an Amazon link. If you know, for you to be able to buy it if you like it. Yep, found. I didn't find the same color, but I found the black one on Amazon for seventeen ninety nine. So I could have got it cheaper there, but I do like the color of this one. But I'll link to that down below in case you're interested if you're looking for a crossbody style. But what I like is that it is small, and I literally like cannot fill this up with garbage. I can put like my lipstick in there and any other little things that I need, but um, I don't know. I never did a good job keeping a big purse cleaned out, and so I really like having simplified versions, so that works out really well for me. But again, I'm home, you know, I'm home most of the day, so I'm not bringing like makeup and a lot of things like that with me, so those work out really well for me. So I would be curious to know though, if you have simplified your jewelry at all or what your thoughts are around that, if you feel like you need a lot of jewelry, I don't know. It just seems like most areas in life, you know, like my clothing and everything that I just go back to the same things all of the time. And so it has worked, at least for me, it's worked really well to simplify it. And I just really like how easy it is to pick things out. And like I said, if I need to borrow something, I can, but I don't know, that is just so rarely the case. And the only thing that's kind of nice about having so little is that I just keep it in this drawer here in the bathroom. So this is kind of my bathroom where the kids and I get ready. The other bathroom we showed you in our organizing video is kind of like Tom's bathroom. And then we kind of just keep all of our extra stuff in there. So this bathroom doesn't really hold a whole lot. So this is like pretty much my drawer with everything in it. And I just throw my jewelry in there and it's so little that I don't really have to worry about it getting like tangled up or anything like that. So no fancy jewelry holders for me. So I'd love to know what your thoughts around it. Please leave that down below. Or if you have thoughts around like purses and whether a big purse works well or having a smaller purse works well. I mean, for the longest time, I just used the diaper bag, right? And so then I would just throw my wallet into the diaper bag. I mean, you could put anything in there that you need. But now we're finally out of that stage. And so, um, so I do like having the smaller purse that doesn't collect lots of stuff. So I would love to know what you do about that, what you think about and how you tackle that. So please share that down below. But other than that, I hope you're having a good day. A thumbs up is the compliment you can give us. I hope you subscribe so that we can keep in touch and I look forward to visiting with you again really soon.